are inspired. They are inspired by their spiritual leader, that member for Rankin, Mr. Speaker. The member for Rankin, Mr. Speaker. And I was thinking yesterday, I was thinking yesterday, as the member for Rankin was coming into the chamber, fresh from his ashram deep in the uh, deep in the mountains of the Himalayas, barefoot into the chamber, but robes flowing, incense burning, beads in one hand, well-being budget in the other. I thought to myself, what would the yoga position that the member for Rankin would assume? The Treasurer will resume his seat. Well, as the member for Rankin was approaching the dispatch box, I was thinking what position would he be assuming to deliver the first wellbeing budget? And I'm no expert. Uh, of what position would he be assuming at the dispatch box? Was it position number five, the downward dog, Mr. Speaker? No. Was it position number six, the reclining pigeon, Mr. Speaker? No, 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 no. Position number seven, Mr. Speaker, the twisted deer, Mr. Speaker. But then the vision came to me. Then the vision came to me through the incense, Mr. Speaker. What was the position number eight? It was the sleeping no, swan. No, the treasurer will. Oh. The treasurer will remove that prop. <laughs> it was the sleeping swan, Mr. Speaker. Position number eight. The sleeping swan. Beads in one hand. Robes flowing. Incense burning. Here was the member for Rankin's homily to his mentor, the former member for Lilly. Mr Speaker, we all know, the Australian people know, a wellbeing budget is just another word for Labor's higher taxes and more debt.